At a busy airbase in the western United States, crews from the Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve are swiftly equipping a C-130 Hercules aircraft with the Modular Airborne Firefighting System MAFS. With wildfires growing more destructive each year, these skilled personnel know time is critical. MAFS enables the cargo-configured C-130 to be quickly transformed into a powerful firefighting aircraft. Capable of releasing thousands of gallons of fire retardant over burning terrain. The process unfolds with military precision checklists reviewed, equipment inspected, and every action synchronized for rapid deployment. Inside the aircraft, Technicians carefully install the MAF system's massive tanks, capable of holding over 3,000 gallons of retardant. They connect high-pressure hoses, secure frames, and calibrate control systems to ensure flawless operation. Any failure mid-flight could jeopardize the mission. The aircraft's cargo bay is now a high-tech firefighting platform, optimized to deliver quick and targeted suppression over dangerous fires. This is not just hardware installation, it's the final step in preparing a weapon against fast-moving infernos that threaten lives and ecosystems. Meanwhile, ground support crews ready supply vehicles and maintain steady communication with firefighting agencies. Each MAFS-equipped C-130 must return, reload, and relaunch in rapid succession to remain effective. Coordination with the U.S. Forest Service ensures that every drop is timed and placed for maximum impact. The operation demands tight integration between pilots, mechanics, dispatchers, and fire commanders on the ground. An airborne ballet where every move matters. These aircraft are more than military assets. They are vital tools for protecting towns and wilderness from uncontrollable blazes. This mission is part of a broader joint readiness initiative between the Department of Defense and the U.S. Forest Service ensuring military forces can assist during domestic emergencies. MAFS showcases the versatility of the C-130 and the value of interagency cooperation during crises that overwhelm civilian capabilities. When a C-130 takes off with its MAFS unit fully loaded, it's not just carrying fire retardant, it's carrying the hopes of communities watching the flames draw near. These military crews may not be flying into war, but the stakes they face saving forests, homes, and lives are no less profound. With the MAF system fully installed and pre-flight inspections completed, the air crews of the C-130 Hercules Street EP into their cockpits ready to launch into one of the most hazardous peacetime missions in their flying careers. Clad in olive green flight suits and flame-resistant gloves, the pilots and co-pilots review flight plans one final time. Their mission today is to support ground firefighters by laying down precise lines of retardant ahead of an advancing wildfire threatening thousands of acres of protected forest land. From the cockpit, the pilots can already see thick columns of smoke rising from the valleys ahead. The airspace above active wildfires is tightly managed, with multiple aircraft operating in close proximity, including helicopters, spotter planes, and other fixed-wing tankers. Communication with air attack coordinators is constant, ensuring that each aircraft knows its drop zone, altitude, and release timing. As the aircraft approaches the designated target area, 
The pilot throttles down and begins a controlled descent to a low altitude often just a few hundred feet above ground level. The landscape below is chaotic, with flames leaping between trees and thick smoke reducing visibility. At this stage, precision is critical. The navigator and crew inside the aircraft relay coordinates and prepare the MAF system for activation. In seconds, the massive rear nozzle opens, and a roaring burst of red retardant is released, covering a wide swath of forest and forming a barrier intended to slow or halt the fire's spread. The maneuver requires calm nerves, coordination, and exact timing there's no room for error. Once the drop is complete, the aircraft pulls up and banks away, exiting the area as quickly as possible before circling back or returning to base for a refill. Ground crews and aerial observers immediately assess the effectiveness of the drop, radioing feedback to the pilots so that adjustments can be made for subsequent passes. In some cases, the mission requires multiple sorties in a single day, with each flight pushing both the aircraft and the air crews to their operational limits. Despite the physical and mental fatigue, the pilots remain resolute aware that their work could prevent the fire from jumping natural barriers or reaching civilian areas. For the pilots, flying a MAFS-equipped C-130 is a unique blend of military discipline and humanitarian service. These missions offer no combat medals or battlefield glory, yet the stakes are no less real. Success is measured not in confirmed kills, but in the number of homes protected, acres saved, and lives preserved. Many of these airmen have flown combat sorties in Iraq or Afghanistan, but they say the intensity and danger of flying over wildfires sometimes through turbulent thermals in zero visibility conditions is just as demanding. Every successful drop reinforces their purpose. To support their communities and defend their homeland from natural threats. As night falls and the aircraft return to base, the flight crews debrief in exhausted but determined tones. Maintenance teams begin servicing the aircraft immediately, preparing them for the next day's battle against the flames. The pilots review aerial footage and telemetry data to refine future missions. Though the danger may have momentarily passed, the wildfire continues to burn and the battle is far from over. For the C-130 air crews and their MAF system, each day brings new challenges but also the chance to make a critical difference from the skies. In the days that follow, the tempo of operations remains relentless. Pilots, crew chiefs, and mission planners gather each morning before dawn for updated intelligence briefings on fire movement, weather conditions, and revised drop coordinates. Wildfire behavior is unpredictable, winds can shift without warning, and terrain challenges vary by the hour. Each sortie demands a new level of focus and adaptability, requiring air crews to blend precise aviation skills with real-time decision-making under stress. The coordination with firefighters on the ground becomes increasingly vital, as the combined air and ground effort aims to box in the blaze before it spreads into populated areas or critical infrastructure zones. Despite the physical demands and long hours, morale among the C-130 crews remains high. The sense of purpose is deeply felt across the flight line, from the young loadmasters helping load retardant tanks to the seasoned pilots guiding the aircraft through turbulent, smoky skies. Many of these service members come from communities that have faced wildfire threats themselves, lending a personal connection to each mission. 
They understand that every successful MAF's drop brings hope to families watching the horizon, praying the flames stop short of their homes. In that understanding lies the quiet heroism of these airmen delivering life-saving relief from above, with unwavering resolve and unmatched precision.